Hey, it's Nooch. Just decided to do this uh, impromptu live stream. We're going to play through uh, the last few levels of Invasion. Let's go ahead and get it going. And uh, we're going to play the Holocron Hall event. So, just was sitting here, uh, came back from vacation. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the uh, Lego Legacy Ghost Hunting event for Sing at 10 a.m. And just thought we'd uh, jump on right now and do a live stream for Lego Star Wars Battles. This will be interesting. Uh, hey James, how you doing? What's up, man? Welcome aboard. We're doing uh, the Holocron Hall event. It'll be interesting to see how long the wait time is. Nooch doesn't usually play at this time of day, but Nooch is off work all through next week. So we're trying this out. And so far, we are spinning and spinning. So James, what's going on? What do you uh, What have you been running these days in, in the events? Nooch is playing with the uh, missile launchers, and what else we got in there? I think we got Vader and Luke straight up. Boy, really not sure. Can't remember. So if we stop spinning at some point, are you guys seeing the? Are you guys seeing the live feed um, from the phone? Hey, nice James. Very nice. Hang on a second. There's something wrong with the feed here. There's something wrong with the feed. Let's see if we can get it back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we gotta do this. Okay. So let's do something here. Sorry. Uh, live live streaming. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's go in. Scar, well, don't watch and drive, man. <laughs> you guys drive on the left side or the right side in Australia. You can just keep the uh, keep the volume on, Scar. Don't, uh, but don't look and see what's going on. We don't need anything bad to happen. Uh, what time is it over there? Let's see, three forty, eight hours behind. So you're eleven forty. So you're seven forty-five in the morning. Very nice. Keep left, so you drive on the left. Same as America. We drive on the left also. Well, guys, uh, maybe this isn't a good time of day to get matchups. <laughs> Hopefully, we get our global launch soon. What do you think of the? Uh, what do you think of the new uh, Y wing? There, we're gonna start putting little graphics up here for all of our videos and streams. Thought of that uh, while I was on vacation in Colorado. Here we go, Psycho Vlad. It's going to be weird. I can see it in the up there while we were playing with it. All right. Got him up. We're just, we're just playing. This is a total defensive deck. It's all we do with this deck. We play defense. And we uh, attack probe droids with Gungans. All right. That's fine. The Gungans will do fine against that too. Might have dropped him a little early. No, we're good. Okay, we're good. And let's see. Gungan stun that thing. And we'll stun the flame trooper from behind. Stay alive, Gungan. Ah, didn't, but that's all right. That's all right. He's not going to be able to get that unless he wants to waste a uh, seismic charge. Oh, BB-8 doing, doing work. Look at that guy. Oh, that is nice. Okay, let's put their tower up. See what happens here. BB-8 was owning the world right there. This is going to be nice. Oh, the Ewoks are going to take out those Stormtroopers, and they're going to take out... Take, oh, BB-8? No? Okay. Let's get the Gungans in there. Save that thing. Yeah, there you go. Get that probe droid, and we'll use R2 to heal up. Sweet. And that tower is going to die. And we're going to stun this Flame Trooper again. As soon as we can get that tower down. Eh, let's do it anyway. Tower and tower down, but my tower down. Okay, that's all right. We're up uh, two to one, and we're probably up a pretty good margin on energy. And that's going to make it even better there. Okay, can we get one more tower? Mm, yeah, let's do it. The tower will take out that IG-88 for sure. First thing he's going to target, it's gone. Then we drop these guys in, and we stun... Get it in. Oh, that was close. Which waited a little bit too long on that. 
but we should be able to finish it with the Booma Balls and stun the Stormtrooper at the same time. Get him out of there. Get the Porgs. This is, we're good to go. This can be a 3. This can be a 3-1 or 3-0 win right here. Yep. I feel comfortable giving it the good game. There we go. Yeah, we're going to lose a tower. It'll be 2 to 1. Because Nooch got a little cocky there at the end. All right, good game, Psycho Vlad. Oh, you drive on the right. You drive on the right. Okay. Anybody here still? Doesn't look like it. That's all right. That's all right. Nooch did this unannounced. Just wanted to go ahead and stream. We're going to finish off this... Uh, Finish off Invasion, come into Holocron Hall, play them live. You guys can come back and watch it later. And we're hoping, uh, Nooch is really hoping that the game goes, the game goes live next week. Uh, that would, that's kind of maybe hoping against hope, but it would be really nice. We've had some folks talking to uh, developers and got a message. It sounded like they're really working on global release right now, so hopefully... That means very soon and possibly on a Mando Monday, which we know are going to be every day through the end of the year, something like that. Yeah, let's go back here. Get both of our towers up. Play the defense. Let's think of how we're going to handle this flame trooper. I think we're going to drop Luke on him to keep him out there. Yeah, stay out there. Then if we can, let's see, get Luke down to stun and use... Um, let's take care of these guys first. Yeah, oh, cute. He spent a fair amount of money on that, so let's, or energy. So let's see what he's got for, uh, he got nothing. He's got nothing for those Ewoks and Luke. That tower's gone. Ewoks and the tower taking care of the destroyer droid. IG-88 is going to take out those Ewoks, that's all right. Because the tower, oh, that flamer's going to, going to tank. For IG-88, so this is what we need. We need that, yeah. And these guys, and these guys, I am, may have jumped the gun. No, we didn't. Good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and stun that tower. Let's go ahead and drop Ewoks over here, put him in double danger. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna probably take out those Gungans with the Stormtrooper, but we got the other side in danger now, so I like how this is trending. We're going to let that guy go ahead because the tower's going to finish him off. R2 can heal up. We use Ewoks over here. And we'll put the porks in. That'll make sure we have enough meat. To, well, maybe not. Maybe not. With that, that was uh, that was painful. Let's fly these guys in here. That should give us enough to take out IG-88. little tank for the Ewok. Four, three, two, one. No. Two towers. I think there's a movie about that. Okay. Over here. Let's, yeah, let's let him do that. And we'll bring R2 in. Let's let him use his special. Go ahead and use it. If you're not, I'm going to use mine. I'll use mine. All right, there we go. Now we bring these guys in. And we're in really good shape. Okay, good game. Okay, so we're getting a little action here. Who all's on? Scar's on. If we drive on the left with the steering wheel's on the right. Well, I guess in America we drive on the right. Newt said left. <laughs> steering wheel's on the left, we drive on the right in America. All right, two more to finish off this invasion event, and then we'll jump into the Holocron Hall and do that one. What do you guys think of this up here, huh? We're going to start putting little guys up there every time, like that Y-Wing. And was able to find some really cool art out there. Hopefully can find some more as we're going along. This is a, a new idea. So picked up a few things today. Really thought that Y-Wing was cool, especially with the game, because we, are, we all use the Y-Wing regularly in our planetary battles. Stop looking while you're driving, dude. <sighs> Who else is on? We got, uh, we got two people watching. And... Uh, <laughs> This is what Nooch gets for an impromptu live stream, but that's all right. That's all right. We're going to start launching since since we hear 
that global launch is, I don't know if eminence are right, a good word, but is coming sometime soon. The guess is November. Nooch is going to really start getting back into doing some uh, Lego Star Wars Battles content, like starting tomorrow. We're going to, we're doing Lego Legacy in the morning with the ghost hunting. Then we're going to be getting out some Star Wars Battles content immediately. So, do you really? Nooch always wonders if, if that's the way to go, you know. Uh, we'll kind of see how the studio evolves over time. But, yeah, with the two Hans and the Luke back there, certainly sets the stage for uh, for Star Wars. <laughs> Here, I'll give you the story. So, um, one of these Hans, I think it's the back one, Nooch has had for like 20 years. Um, gosh, maybe 30 years. Uh, Nooch got it sometime in college or when he came out of college and Nooch uh, initially worked in a church. He was a youth minister come that right out of college and put Han in his office and then somebody in the church complained that he had a gun. So Nooch had to take Han out of the church. Well, then my aunt retired, I don't know, three, four years ago, something like that. And she was a librarian for 30 years at a school and she loved Star Wars, had a big crush on Mark Hamill, and she had uh, the other Han and Luke in the library that whole time. So I guess you can put Han with a gun in school, but you can't put him in church. So she uh, gifted Han and Luke to me, so now I've got two Hans and a Luke, and so there they are right behind me. That's the whole story. There's no other story to that. Just kind of figured that would be a, a good little setup behind us. We know that, uh, I knew that Arnold had Gary in there, so I didn't really want to copy that. But it, it's, it's, it's kind of that, but it just seemed like a really good way to set up with uh, with these guys in the background and just kind of set the mood till we get something serious. And occasionally we do the green screen with, you know, Lego Legacy here. We just had some trouble with his green screen. We need to get a more professional one. Once we start earning income, that'll be one of the first investments is a really nice professional green screen. Um, here's John again. So we'll see how he feels playing Nooch, but we're not going to mess around. You know, we could try some different stuff and fool around, but we're just going to keep going with the double missile launcher in the back strategy. And boy, he took his time getting loaded there. I wonder if he had, uh, sometimes you can't get loaded because you're, you're, uh, phone doesn't load up quick enough let's see if we can let's see if three porgs and the missile launcher is enough it doesn't look like it's enough so let's get luke out there those level eight legendaries are pretty massive in uh, in these events so that stormtrooper is going to do a dent but not enough we're going to be able to get a nice little attack in on on that tower let's go ahead and do this then we're going to stun that tower. Elock Glider takes out IG-80. We stun the tower. That's good, good, good. We're in good shape. The Gungans are going to get flamed out, but that tower's gone, and that's all that mattered. Okay. So we're going to let this guy come in. Oh, he brought his BB-8. How about that? So we'll use the, we'll use the boomer balls. No, 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 no. Look at that. How about that? The towers took out BB-8. Maybe double towers can take out BB-8 like that. Let's get a little charge going with the Ewoks. And if we can use... If we can get the boom balls before he's... Let's see if he decides a seismic charge or not. He did. Okay, well, we don't want to do that then. Let's just get this... Uh, let's split the Gungans. Even one Gungan will prevent a particle beam from working. Just one. That's all it takes. So we're going to launch a double-pronged attack again. But we don't, we've got the BB-8, so he's going to kill the BB-8 while the Gungans are doing damage. And let's get this tower up. Okay, so that was kind of gross. That was kind of gross. Let's see here. We can get him with the porgs. Uh, get out of there! Golly, boo! That stunk. Well, now Nooch's. We are all squirr. Still like the missile launchers better than the particle beams in the events just because you got to come a long way now that destroyer droids a pretty good little guy to use um in events to attack those missile launchers because he comes from you know he can roll all the way down the field very quickly let's go this if we can stun him and get out there and get these guys down and the boom ball look at that double stun can they get him get him get him get him get him 
Let's just keep dropping. Let's just let's just spam the uh, field with units here. Make him respond. And da, 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 da. let's boom a ball. One gun can still fire in there. <laughs> let's just keep spamming. Let's just keep spamming. We got it. There we go. Good game, James. That was well played. Hey, James, probably think Global Launch. Really? December? I thought the holiday special was coming out at the end of November. And it's been so normally. This was kind of the thought. Hey, CJ, how's it going? Um, I know that uh, Buddha has a video, CJ, of how to get it on Android. Uh-oh. Connecting, connecting. Well, let's get out and relaunch this thing. Um, CJ, can you can you look up Nooch on Discord? Nooch hashtag two five eight zero. You see it right down there. Um, look Nooch up on Discord, and we will get you into the chat, into the the Lego Stars Battles group chat. And in there, there are instructions that are pinned to the room. There's a lot of people in there that are playing on iOS, so they can they can help you with that. So look Nooch up on Discord. We'll get you in the room, and we'll get you hooked up so you can play on Apple, okay? Um, so, James, we were thinking, so normally the updates were coming out about once a month, and it would have come out, we're about two weeks late for just a regular interval update. And so uh, one of the players in Nooch's, we, we preformed a clan. So one of the players in there, AL, had contacted... Um, support to say, hey, what's up? When is there an update coming? What's happening? And support's reply was, hey, we're really busy working on getting ready for global. We want everything to be perfect and look good. And so that's why, because of the timing, you know, since we're two weeks overdue for an update in general, because they were occurring basically once a month, um, we're kind of thinking, we're hoping, hoping that November is the is the date. And Nooch is hoping like immediately in November, like first Mando, Mando Monday in November, boom, Lego Star Wars Battles. Because I think that the Star Wars holiday special comes out like around Thanksgiving or something, right? Oh, there's a link to that server in Nooch's server on Discord, okay. So yeah, so CJ, yeah, go on to Nooch's server on the in Discord and join there and you'll you'll see a link. Thanks, Scar. Scar is uh, Nooch's um, admin designed and runs and does everything with Nooch's Discord channel because Nooch has no clue how to put that stuff together. Yeah, I could probably figure it out if we put some time into it, but really appreciate Scar's done a lot of work on that and he brags about it a lot. <sighs> Alright, dude. Yeah, take care. Don't don't uh don't do don't do anything foolish in traffic, man. <laughs> This isn't worth your life. Watching watching the stud spin is not worth your life. Hopefully, we can get into Holocron Hall. There's more people playing that. we got to finish off this. Uh, <laughs> it's too lazy. That's fair. That's fair. You know, Nooch is just really, really focused on bringing great content to this community. To to Nooch's subscribers, we got to bring great content. If you want to subscribe, go down to the corner. got to get used to that pointing because it's like a reverse thing. Go down to the corner... You can subscribe right down there if you're on your computer. Otherwise, you subscribe on your phone. Um, but you definitely need to subscribe because you'll continue to get lots of cool content like studs spinning endlessly. <laughs> um, Nooch has got a lot of LEGO Star Wars Battles content coming out very, very near future. We're going to start launching some stuff. We've been holding off for a few weeks just because we've been putting content out there and putting content and we keep waiting for the global and it wasn't here but now it feels like it's almost here, and we're going to get right back into the LEGO Star Wars Battles content and get that going. And since LEGO Legacy seems to be taking their time with the raids, we may have some time before we got some new stuff over there aside from the ghost hunting tomorrow. So look for a lot of LEGO Star Wars Battles content and subscribe to make sure you get alerts for it. And join the, uh, join the Discord server so you can get those same alerts as well. And you can talk with other Nucha files. And, and people that you uh, might enjoy their company. So kind of watching it both ways. Nooch isn't used to playing here on the uh, on the computer. Okay, let's distract that guy. There's a little tactic for you guys. And Nooch does it when a hero's approaching like a middle tower. Like if you got if I got a particle beam in the middle, 
Nooch will put like a stormtrooper down off to the side there. Um, that like that, like just like that. That stormtrooper distracted Luke, but not within range. Really, the goal would be to keep Luke within range of the particle beam when you distract with the stormtrooper. You don't want this. Ah, oh, that stunk. That was no good at all. Oh boy. Well, he's doing really well with that IG88. The last game he did pretty well with him too. So we're gonna let that tower go. Probably gonna use some boomas on these guys to stun them right where they stand. Let the tower finish them. Get in their Ewoks, and we can need to heal up the towers. So there we go. Yeah, he's doing he's doing really well. He's got another IG88. He's handling that sniper really well. And since a lot of players aren't using snipers, maybe Nooch isn't quite as used to it anymore. It used to be. You know, when Nooch started playing, it was the unit in the game. Like, there were no units that were... Blah. Every unit in the game was trumped by the sniper. It was so good. I gotta stop talking. Look at James has learned. Very nice. Very nice, James. Very well played. Okay, now he's up three towers to one. Yeah, nice. James, is that you? James Skywalker, is this you? On the stream? Nooch wasn't even thinking about it. That'd be fun. And we'll get that middle tower, so that's good. Sorry, James. Ooh, that seismic charge didn't go well. Okay, that's your name's Anna. Okay, Anna, can we play? Okay. So, what I definitely have played you, and you give the big smile, and yep. All right, there we go. Sorry if Nooch doesn't remember this stuff all the time. It's, uh, you know, we're playing a lot of folks here, and it kind of, uh, you know, you kind of forget stuff as you're going. Get him, Luke. Get him, Luke. And let's go with the Gungans here. He's got to deal with that over there. And we'll get Luke to stun. We'll get the Boomba Balls. We're looking good here right now. We're going to wait for it to come out. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Good game. That was a little dicey there. It was tight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, James, we played a bunch of times. Anakin Skywalker. Nooch definitely remembers those matches. So next time, Nooch remember that that is James. James Skywalker. Is James like uh, Anakin's great uncle? or something? <laughs> Does he have a great... Does Shmi have any brothers, maybe? Um, there we go. Abraham, so um, there are ways to download the game. If you have Android... Uh, and now we're going to Holocron Hall here. Enter this event. Hunter uh, Crystal is well worth it. Um, Abraham, so look up, uh, if you have an Android, look up Buddha Gaming, and he's got a video about how to download it. Or, keep losing connection. Uh, or, what we were saying before, you can, yeah, let's get out again and relaunch it. Um, Abraham, if you want to join Nooch's Discord server, which is down below in the comments, or look up Nooch on Discord, but if you join the serv server, there's links in, in there to instructions for how to download the game. So you have to get in there and kind of, you you, you download like a VPN, you set the country to uh, India or Australia, I believe. What is going on? Nooch's Wi-Fi is not uh, not pleasant today. So yeah, get, jump, jump into Nooch's Discord server and check that out. Because um, then you can see how to download the game and how to start playing it a little bit ahead of time. I need to get some more water here in a minute. Okay, can our Wi-Fi hold on this time? Okay. So yeah, Abraham, that's how that's how Nooch is playing the game. we got a community probably... Um, there have been a lot of downloads, but there's a community on Discord, uh, probably of several hundred people that have been playing and continue to play. So there you go, new. There you go, Buddha. Um, hey, Buddha was just talking to Abraham. He was asked how he played the game. I was I was uh, referencing your video. If he's got Android, or telling him to join Nooch's uh, server, his Discord server, in the comments, if he wants to uh, see how to uh, download on iOS. So. Definitely go look at Buddha's video if you have Android. It's a really good walkthrough for how to download the game. Okay. All right, there we go. The Great Tongue. 
Well, we got a lot of, uh, Nooch is starting to wonder. That sniper is pretty nice in this event, actually. Nooch has to confess that that sniper looks pretty darn good. Let's keep the fire off of our tower. There we go. That's fine. I have to deal with that. Luke, get your special. Can we get a special? No! Oh, the horror. Well, I'm going to start off behind here. Get some AoE. Get some AoE. Can you get it? Can we heal? No, we're not going to heal. Well... The Great Tong is uh, delivering it to Nooch right now, although he hasn't put a tower up, so he's invested everything in killing Nooch's towers while Nooch is investing in... Uh, well, there he goes. He killed it dead. He's invested everything in killing Nooch's towers. So, let's get him back up. There we go. That's perfect. That missile launcher is going to kill that IG-88, and that is Nooch using four energy to kill his four energy, and so we are ahead. And that is very nice. And it's interesting. We've been able to take out uh, BB units a few times with missile... Oh, come on. Really? Really? That was a well-timed bomber. Gotta admit. Gotta admit. You, did you put them in the description here, buddy? Oh, look at those Gungans on Boba Fett. That is so nice. Yeah, he tries to get a special off, and he can't. Yes, Gungans. So we're going to let the tower take out those battle droids, and then we're going to boom a ball Boba Fett and IG-88. Oh, that was a little early. A little premature there. A little premature. That's right. We'll take it. And we're going to let that probe droid come down, and we'll hopefully be able to get our Gungans and our... And our... He's still got a seismic charge on the bomber, right? So let's be careful. Let's bring the Gungans out a little wider. Uh, not really, but we'll see. Repair this. Okay, we're good there. And he's going to use that now. And we're going to we're going to drop Luke out there to distract that flame trooper. And this is over. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Should get some splash damage in the probe droid too. And there we go. Good game. Does it work? But it's one of my. What doesn't work? What doesn't work, dude? The download? Oh, you were trying to paste the instructions into this conversation? Yeah, I guess if you can't do that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, everybody check out Buddha Gaming if you want to download. Hopefully, Abraham, you can you can get it downloaded today and join in the community and definitely join us on Discord for some fun. Um Cause there are a lot of people playing. Not enough, you know, not enough yet. We we really need Hopefully with Global, we're going to look at, you know, getting a couple million players pretty quickly. And Nooch is pretty excited about that. I guess that's all i got to say. Nooch is out of water. I'm going to have to go refill the water after this game. That'll be like a 30-second run, run of the sink. Solo! Solo is actually in Nooch's leaderboard this week. This won't count for that, but... Just an observation, just saying. Oh, he's going to put the middle tower up, and we're going to be missile launching that thing to death immediately. Okay. Oh, look at the missile launcher. Got the stormtrooper first. Yes. Let him lock on the tower. Then we'll Ewok him, and then we'll go over here. And, well, well done. Well done. But again, um... Uh, da, 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 da. One okay, one Gungan stopping the particle beam, and the other one's hitting the probe droid. And bleh. well, we need to just distract him at this point. Kill that tower! Kill that tower! Come on, special! Oh, Nooch is not doing well here, folks. That probe droid is wrecking Nooch's life. Yeah, we put that up, but we're behind. He's going to be able to drop something, you know, like that. Okay, come on, Ewoks. Get him out of there. Get him out. Get him out. Okay, good, good, good. There, perfect. Thank you. That was a gift. That was a gift. Those battle droids were ill-advised. So he's healing the tower back up. Okay, okay. Let's do this. That's fine. We're going to get some chip damage with that BB-8. Those Gungans are going to come unstunned. We're going to get the Porgs in there. And we're going to get rid of that tower. Yes, sir. And we're going to get another tower up. 
Now we feel better. Now we feel better with 49 seconds left. I think that missile launcher should be able to handle the Guavian, but we'll let him engage anyway and then drop Ewoks on him. Okay, now we just need to protect our towers. So here comes that probe, that pesky probe droid again, and we're going to drop the Gungans on him. Maybe let him get engaged. Oh, sneaky. That's, that's a first. You were holding on to that. Well played. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. 12 seconds. We just got to hang on. We got to hang on. Okay, Gungan's back here. Um, let's do this. Can we get splash damage? Can we save it? Can we save it? There we go. That was a little tight. Well played, Solo. Commando's good, James. <laughs> Commando's good. Hey, uh, Nooch is going to run and refill his water real quick because he can already feel his voice kind of giving out. So hang out here for one second and we'll be right back. Oh, okay, we're back. Uh, who else we got? Oh, in the event, he claimed, yeah, Commando knows what he's doing. And uh, Nooch knows him pretty well. <laughs> Nooch handles him easily. I mean, clearly. that. Oh, this is frustrating. Gotta, gotta say, this is frustrating. I'm not sure if there's too much energy or the Wi-Fi is just kind of put puttering along. Let's give it a minute. All right. Not impressed with the Wi-Fi today. Maybe it's the time of day. It's about 4.15 4 here in the Midwest. What else is happening? Well, we're going to play. Anybody got any discussion topics about the game, about life, about uh, the election, anything else otherwise? Let's talk. Well, it looks like we're going to be playing solo a lot, which is kind of how this tends to work. And, okay, let's play a little bit differently this time. Let's let that tower finish off that stormtrooper. The Guavian's going to engage the tower, and we're going to Ewok the Guavian while he's doing that. And we forgot about the battle droids, which he used last time. We're still in pretty good shape. There it is, that probe droid. Pesky, pesky probe droid. we got to keep that in mind. So this is like, a, like don't let the probe droid beat you. That's going to be this game. Don't let the probe droid beat us. So we're going to keep saving up stuff for the probe droid, which is going to be our Ewoks. And Gungans, and we can wait on a tower here because, because, ugh. come on, stay alive. There we go. Uh, uh. He got me. He got me, but we got some, uh, we got some pressure going on his TIE fighter down there. Luke's going to stun everybody. Including probe droid. Oof. Now we get a tower up, and we just got to get some gungans ready. But we're looking pretty good on that tie fighter down there. Get him, get him. Ewoks cleared off. Yep. Don't let the probe droid beat us, because that's the that's the one unit our towers cannot defend against. There we go. Let's just stay on defense. We're gonna stick back here at the back. He's got to deal with those guys because they can keep that particle beam stunned forever. Vader will take care of those. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think what we're going to do is Boom a Ball and Porg. Boom a Ball, Porg, and Ewok. Let's make sure he's dead before he gets his go new. Oh, well played, sir. Well played. 
Let's stun him. That worked out nicely, actually. We barely stayed alive. Oh, and he missed with the seismic charge. That's a shame. And let's get the Porgs in there and get the Ewoks in there. Stun that tower. Get that down. Luke's going to smash it. And we look like we're in pretty good shape unless we get taken out by those battle droids. But here come the Ewoks. Oh, and he's healing up. We're doing This is a lot of play-by-play. -play. <laughs> okay. So let's let's plan let's plan a little run here against Solo. Solo. We want to boom a ball. Oh, he's bringing Invader on the other side. Sneaky, sneaky. We should be able to handle that. We could fly these guys in. Um, Forks, take that out. Come on. Ah. We missed our special there. That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Boom balls. Well, we set up for a draw. Well played, Solo. Well played. Yeah, it's something like that, James. I, CJ, I, yeah, I didn't do it with um, Apple, and honestly, Nooch is not an expert on, on the technical aspects of how to download and stuff, so he got a lot of help from uh, Bertini at the time. So there will be people on, on the server that can help you, definitely, in Nooch's server and in the uh, LEGO Star Wars Battle server that's in Discord. So we'll be able to help you out. Buddha, Nooch is hoping on Monday, which would be, uh, what, the second? Ah, we're playing solo again. Solo! See, that makes you want to mix up, mix up strategies, pardon me, just a little bit. Because he's going to go for the middle. We're gonna Let's just put up one this time and see if we can uh, do a little bit better. So put up one, play a little defense, make him work for it a little more. There we go, there we go. Yeah, make him work. There we go, Stormtrooper gone. Now we got plenty of energy. Plenty. So we'll let these guys defend over here. Get this tower up. He's going to do a special. Luke's going to do his special. Kung. Ah! This is taking Luke off. Taking Nooch off. Well, the X-Wing can handle those guys. There we go. That's fine. Let's do this. Let's fly these guys in. Also stun while the, while the gun... Can you guys hear Nooch whispering? <laughs> There we go. That was a good play. And now look at that. Look at that rush we got coming. Now we can get a tower up. Now we can get a tower. Look at that. He has to deal with that. He's going to put the battle droids down. The Gungans are going to take them out. And they're going to stun the tower. Can we get another tower? Let's do it. Let's do it. Not sure that was a good idea. <laughs> well, we did it anyway. We can, we can put R2 out here. And he can distract for a little while. And we're going to need the Ewoks to kill the probe droid. Now R2's coming back. Oh, well, that all right, all right. Let's get, let's get him engaged and then stun him. Well, we didn't save that tower, but we caused him to spend a lot of energy and focus. Yeah, see, now we can do Porgs because he used his special. Heal this back up. Boo, 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 boo. We really need Boomer Balls right now. And then he's got those guys. Mm. Okay. That's fine over there. We're going to Ewok that whole thing. And we're going to watch out for his... Um, Got to watch out for his dropship, because he's been using that, and he's been using it very effectively, and he's been kind of waiting to the last minute, too. So we don't want to we don't want to fool around with that dropship. Oh, that was a bad boom of all drop, although it got Vader, but it was still not a good boom of all drop. Ewoks again. Gungans. Now we got some Gungans going. Now we got some Gungans going. Boom of all again. Get him, get him, get him, get them all. 
start. Uh, we don't want to start spamming stuff because he's going to keep going with those probe droids, and we got to keep killing that. Uh, let's. <clears throat> he's healing up. Let's try something. Let's try something. Let's distract with R2. Let's boom a ball. Let's get that. Yeah. I don't think we're going to... I think we're going to end up drawing here. It's two draws in a row with Solo, guys. Sorry, this is uh, kind of boring TV. If we can get anybody else to play besides just Solo, that would be nice. You contact Mission Support if they would give a reward for people who played before Global Launch... I don't know if they're going to, um, I think they're going to be more interested, James, in having the people that, like the new players that come in after Global, having them catch up to the people that were already playing. So they're more likely to give like a one reward to everybody or maybe a little bit extra to those new players. I don't think they would spurn the people that have already been playing. Please be somebody besides, oh, it's just solo. I really feel like we had the last game if we just remember the probe droid. The probe droid and the battle droids are the things we got to remember. So we're going to do this again. We're going to wait for the probe droid and the battle droids. He's got his tower up. This feels so familiar. This is like chess. This is like chess. Nooch is like Magnuson. <laughs> That's what we're going to say anyway. Okay, come over here. All right, that's fine. We'll come behind you with the Ewoks. Heal our tower. And uh, the one Ewok. Well, Luke, get, get it off. Get it off. Oh, he didn't get the special. Okay. Come over here. BB-8. Can we get the advantage again? Okay, I think we're going to get that tower. and We'll have an advantage. Let's not waste it this time. Let's do this. That seems like a lot to use on a Guavian, but he will... So we're not going to get super aggressive this... Well, well oh, Newt really wants to get that tower, but we don't have enough energy. We need like seven or eight energy to be able to defend that tower down there. Let's go ahead and heal up. And let's go ahead and... He's saving everything. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. So we know he's got a drop ship. We know he's got the probe droid. And we know we want to put Luke out here because nobody can come save Darth Vader for a while because he's got to walk all the way down there. And as soon as he uses... Okay, he's seismic charge instead. And we're not going to let him do that. We're going to get that guy with the Gungans. We're special with Luke. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Get him. Get him. Perfect. That was exactly what we wanted to do. Every once in a while, blind squirrels find nuts. Come on, come on. Zoom special, special. We didn't get it off, but that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, well, he just used his... I'm guessing he used all four energy he had to build that tower. So we're in pretty good shape here. We're going to let that Guavian engage. We're going to do this. We're going to drop Ewoks over here. We're watching out for seismic charge, but we still got the Gungans we could drop. Then we're going to go to town and see if we can get this done. That seismic charge hurt. God, he's just hes just not a bad player. Actually, I'm going to say he's a good player. So we have to find a way to get that tower. He keeps having to spend to heal it up, so that's helpful. Well, we got the... Uh, oh, special, special, special. We got that... Uh, those Boomer Balls hit the probe droid even without... It wasn't even splash damage. They just straight up hit it. Newt's thought it had to be splash damage. Now we're just spamming. And Boomer Balls. This is our chance right here. And he keeps saving that seismic charge for the exact right moment. That's the one thing about the defense strategy. If he hadn't got that last tower up, we probably would have won. But unfortunately, he got it up, and we're not going to win. Barring something special right here. Yeah, he keeps saving that seismic charge. He's using it really well. We could try and do an oppo rush, but I don't think that's going to work either. And there's only 10 seconds left. That is three of these in a row, guys. Nooch is really sorry. 
If somebody, again, hopefully this is fixed with... If it's a draw, again, just use a particle beam. You want to put a particle beam in there? What's going on? Is there a bunch of is there a bunch of noise or something? What's going on? Are you guys hearing a bunch of extra noise? Yeah, let's put the taunt in. I like that. Um, let's trade out there. Okay, we'll try that. Is, is there a bunch of noise on the stream? Uh, Scar, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, good. Those loud Aussies. Friday morning talk in the office. <laughs> Come on, people. We're trying to watch a live stream here. Don't you have your earbuds in there, Scar? Or you gotta you gotta actually sit on your desk listening to news. Is that cool? Can you do that at work? Is that how work works for you? Surprise you're actually going in the office. So you go into the office, um, Aren't you a des aren't you like a uh, tech guy, like a IT guy, coder? Uh, Nooch is being really offensive right now. Sorry, dude. Earbuds, okay. Oh, but it's still they're they're talking so loud it's over the earbuds. Everybody's ready for the weekend in Australia. Does everybody have to talk louder because they have masks on? Like it used to be easier. It's it, Nooch finds it tougher to maybe solo bow out. We'll get somebody else here in a minute. Uh, Nooch finds it tougher to really understand people when they don't have a mask on like when somebody doesn't have a mask on you can read their lips when they're wearing a mask and they're talking it's there's a little bit of muffle through the mask but you also can't see their lips moving and that makes it a little bit harder to talk you're like back back at the office yeah but you have to wear masks right so hey solo all right we're going for the middle we know what he's gonna do he's gonna drop those troopers in there let's see if we can get the middle tower he did it, he did it, he did it. Nope. No middle tower. Oh! <laughs> ah, Buddha Nooch wasn't thinking. How about this? Try that out. Well, he tried it out. So we got Chewy and we got... So we don't want to drop the uh, battle droids because they will be taken care of rather quickly. And we'll heal up the tower here. Ugh, man. Solo's giving Nooch all kinds of fits. If he drops R2... No, no, no. Okay, probe droid. Trade off again. This is... Golly. Well, Solo, you're doing a really good job, man. Nooch didn't switch his dark side deck. This is the first time we played dark side. 2 a.m. LLHU. <laughs> oh, we missed Leia. Let's wait till it comes out of stun. Stun. Drop these guys in. Get a tower up. Well, we're not going to get a tower up. But we got rid of Leia, so that's good. And those Ewoks will be taken out by the missile launcher. Because we're going to do this. And we got our tower. Yeah, we're going to get another draw. Unless we can find a way to get that middle tower. Let's save up some minutes. Okay, so he's going for the middle tower. We know he's got Chewy, so we're going to save those battle droids until we, until we get Chewy off the field. Because Chewie wipes out battle droids. So if we can get Chewie out of the way, then we can drop those battle droids. Okay, there we go. We had to drop them anyway. Ugh! Solo. And Nooch is going to lose. God, Nooch is frustrated. We would really like to play somebody else. 
20 years later, it's a draw. Yeah, no kidding, man. Let's let's switch up this dark side deck, too. It's really frustrating that nobody is playing this event right now, and that's what we need Global Launch for, to avoid these types of annoying frustrations. I saw some Ewoks there. Let's change some stuff up. Let's use this guy. Let's try it out. Let's go. We gotta try something different. Solo keeps doing the same thing. Hey, Trending Brick, what's up? Yeah, Newt just keeps playing solo every time. And uh, <laughs> we've played solo, what, six times now with four draws? Nooch won one, and he won one, and four draws, and this will probably be solo again, so we changed our deck a little bit. And there he is. So this is going to be a ten-stage event against solo. We'll see if he changed his deck. He's going to try and grab the middle, which he's going to, and we will get in our particle beam. So there we go. We got our Super Battle Droid now. So I think Vader plus Super Battle Droid is going to be a pretty good combo here. Because the only swarming units he has are Ewoks from what Nooch has seen. So is he going to do something here? Really? Mmm, stun! There we go. Chewie's over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Change it up there, Solo. What do you think? He's going to change his deck next. Watch. Can we get a middle tower? Yeah. Oh, we put the wrong one in. <laughs> wrong tower. Wrong tower. Go, Super Battle Droid, go. Okay, that's all right. Look, he's, he's so tanky. Really a good unit. Now, what I want to do is I want to get a big rush going on the side of his tower. Actually, not, because he's got it weakened. Let's stay on this side. Let's stay over here. Let's use the ATRT, and we'll put Vader in there with it. Now he's got some choices. Now he's got some choices. And we're going to save the seismic charge. Okay, boom a ball the whole thing. We're going to seismic charge back. Get it! All right, we saved our ATRT or whatever we're calling that. Riot Control Walker. Nooch really doesn't like the name they gave that. We need to get that off of there. Get it! Anybody there? No. See if they can end Chewie there so that we can use our battle droids. There we go. Oh, and they just got wiped out. Pay attention, Nooch. Oh, we're down two to one. I'm so, I'm so bent over playing solo every time that I didn't even realize I was down two to one. Really, really tired of playing solo. That was totally my fault. I just wasn't even paying attention. Let's really mix it up on him. Okay, so we're going to go use here. We're going to use this. Choose the drop ship. Instead of. I don't like taking these out for the drop ship. We've got Chewy in there. Let's do that. And let's go to the light side. Let's do the same thing. 
here, here. Let's bring in our durian. Hey, that's awesome, Trendy Brick. Yeah, I've seen your stuff. I'm using the dropship anyway, Buddha. Ewok gliders are better, that is for sure. It'd be nice to play a different person. If you're Nooch is really being honest about it. It's just kind of old playing the same guy, and Nooch is getting kind of worked up about it. So now, getting pretty frustrated. How do we beat him the first time, and now we can't, we can't beat him at all? Hmm. Yeah, the, the uh, Ewok glider is definitely better than the dropship. I know. I got gotcha. you. Thanks, man. <clears throat> is Nooch's frustration visible? We really need Global Launch to avoid stuff like this. It'd be much... If, if Nooch is losing to multiple players, he'd still be frustrated. <laughs> But, you know, it's different then. This is like the same guy over and over and over again. We should have put in our ATRT on the light side. Although it didn't seem to work that well, did it? So all you Americans going out and voting? Is everybody old enough to vote? On Tuesday? Thirty minutes? It shouldn't, I think after 10 minutes, you usually get a bot if it goes 10 minutes. Hopefully we're not going to go 10 minutes here. Um, yeah, the anchor is real. I, just, I feel it. I'm like getting all hot. I can feel like anger. May have to take the uh, little jacket off here shortly and just play in the t-shirt. Well, maybe Solo dropped out, or maybe he's playing the only other player that came into the game. Cool, Buddha. You're in California, right? Sorry, guys, I'm running out of conversation. Uh, here we are with this spinning stud. I wonder if we're going to make it to the end of this event just because we keep stalling out with Solo. <laughs> bro, bro. Don't vote then, James. That would be bad. The uh, They might come for you. Okay, can we be somebody else? Thank you, Iceman. Look at this guy. Oh, <sighs> oh. I knew Chessie's these different decks in, so we'll play with these anyway. Okay, Iceman. That's an interesting drop. I didn't want to... So I didn't want to drop the Particle Beam in the middle because what would have happened is the Gungans would have stunned it and Luke would have destroyed it. So this is actually a challenging little rush here. Gotta admit. Put that over there to get the Missile Launcher. Need the Seismic Charge. Then we need to do this... You can you have you can really struggle um, with Vader's special. I'm gonna have to let him engage the plant, the particle beam and take him out. Um, Vader's special against Gungans, he can get locked up and not get it off. So you got to be careful with that. That's why I seismic charge first and then did a special. Sure. Now we're on defense and we're in pretty good shape. So all right, feel a little better now. <laughs> feel a little better now. Solo's out stomping somebody else. Okay. Who took out that durian? He had a durian coming at us. We had Darth Vader. The battle droid, I guess, took him out. The super battle droid. Take care of R2 and let's get another tower up. Yes. And then let's drop ship that tower and battle droid it. And there we go. Now we're fighting. Now we're fighting. Battle droid handles Gungans. How about that? 
Wasn't sure if that would work. Learn something. Oh, look at BB-9. There we go. Okay. This is more like it. <laughs> Solo kind of figured out Nooch there somehow and uh, was really putting it on him. Solo! Okay. One, two. One, two. A three. That's fine. Get in there. Give me, give me, come on. Give me, let's get it faster, faster. Go, go, go. Go. Not, didn't get there. Okay. Good game, Ice Man. That felt a little better. Ah, Bertinium with the words of encouragement. <laughs> you missed it, dude. I played solo. The same guy like six or seven times beginning of the event. Beat him the first time. Then we tied four times, and he beat Nooch twice. I'll have to look that up, James. I don't know that one. Next week trending, yeah. Nooch is just going to vote on voting day. Where Nooch lives, it hasn't generally been a problem to get that vote in. So ugh, here we go. Okay, we got a different deck this time. So we don't have our dropship up close to me, though. Oh. So he's going to go dropship. We're going to go with two particle beams. What? Uh, that just kind of froze on me. So we got one particle beam. That's fine. He's going to bring in... Um, what is he going to bring in? He's got Chewy. He's got Ewoks. He got 10 Energy. He's got the Ewok Glider, which he just used. There's Chewy. Bring, come on in, Chewy. Come on in, Chewy. Oh, that was dumb, Nooch. That was dumb. Should have thought about that. Seismic, these guys, stay alive. Everybody, everybody's alive. That's good. We're all alive. We're all fine here, thanks. How are you? Here comes Princess Leia, and we just used the seismic charge, so that's a problem. Let's go over here. Let's go over here, and yeah, that tower's gone. Yeah, okay, so now we know he has Leia, so we need to save that seismic charge for Leia, no matter what the situation. With these particle beams, so we'll be saving. And... Mm -mm, I'm just going to let him go. Getting our tower up. Here. Nooch sucks against Solo. I don't know what the deal is. Solo has Nooch's number big time. Big time. Come on, get it. There you go. Finally. Good night. Well, we'll have to see if we can get down there and do something. We're, we're about at phone throwing stage right now. Solo just completely got Nooch's number. That's embarrassing. I gotta shut up while I play this guy. Every freaking time. Doesn't uh, hey James? Everybody has the same base level in events. Yeah, now we gotta pay to refund. I'm really frustrated that Solo I can't. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on. We're not we're, we're not letting him get that middle tower anymore.
let's try it. All right, and light side, we got to get these guys up at the top. And we're going to get the Tauntaun in there for Durian. Okay. We're not letting him get that middle tower anymore. Not not, not uh, free, anyway. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Nice. 10,000 credits for Solo's head. Nooch feels like he'd give that right now. He doesn't have 10,000 credits at the moment, though. 10,000 coins, studs, whatever we're calling them. So at this point, Solo is in Nooch's head. So Nooch can't shed him. All right, like I said, let's go. Woof, woof. Fine. We feel pretty confident against Woof, woof, because he's not Solo. There we go. That's a particle beam. And that's... Uh, okay, okay. Fine. Wow. Wow. Did you see that? Those Ewoks almost took out Boba Fett. Okay. This is where the Tauntaun comes in. That's fine. Let's try the Ewok Tower. Try and heal up here a little bit. And, oh. So he bombered the tower. We're pretty close in energy at this point, so. We want him to use his BB unit before we drop the Tauntaun is what we want to do. I want, I want this Ewok tower to work. We really need a healer here, and he comes in. Distract him while the Ewoks kill destroyer droid. That was fortunate because now neutrally really sucks today, fellas and ladies, whoever's out there. Not impressed with Nooch's game at the moment. You do like it when they, they choose to use a bomber against that, though. We really want to see that BB unit. Really want to see the BB unit. Let's drop Luke deep. If we can see the BB unit, then we will launch the Tauntaun. Well, we're going anyway. That was really close. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. Solo has wrecked this whole thing because Nooch couldn't handle him and now he's got a bunch of stupid cards in there. I guess we shouldn't have gone with that Ewok tower. Oh! Hey, DRC, what's up, man? Appreciate it. Hey, DRC, come in and play uh, Lego Star Wars Battles with us. Solo. Whew. Okay. Let's go. We're going to the middle with the dropship. Let's get it. Yeah. Eat it. Let's let him engage our middle tower. Engage the middle tower. Not yet. And let's drop an IG-88. Because we don't want to do it before then. Because that tower will destroy IG-88. Let's get ready to protect with seismic. There we go. Ugh. 
Newt's just is pwned by Solo right now. Really sorry, guys. This is embarrassing. How is he always four energy ahead of me? Just getting completely pwned by this guy. I don't get it, guys. I'm so frustrated right now. I know I've played this. This this guy feels so good right now. He's just completely destroying me. I'd feel really good if I was destroying a guy repeatedly. I would feel really good right now if I'd just been wiping him out repeatedly over and over and over again. Really, really good. I'm going to go back and watch that. We're, we're actually going to take a minute and we're going to watch a couple of these and see what's going on because Nooch is not, there's something we're not understanding about why we're losing every time to this guy. So we need to go back and watch and see what's going on because we're going to be playing him over and over again. Nooch needs to understand why he's losing and why, what he needs to fix. I'm amazed anybody's still watching this garbage. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, let's watch. Just We're just going to look at a few of these. Usually you can tell within the first 30 seconds what you've messed up. I think what happened here was I spent way too much money getting the middle. Probably should have just knocked him out of the middle and left it. So we both drop it in there so we're even. And so... Now we're, we're even money, and we both have a tower up, and then Nooch dropped, no, the tower cost Nooch, so Nooch is behind because of the tower, yeah. And then we're, we're thinking we're cool with IGD, but he's got so much energy to come back and play at me with. He's just being so much more efficient with his energy. So we lost that game. It was over as soon as Nooch paid for that middle tower. This game was over. We got to start sitting back a little more and letting him come and, and fighting that way. Wow. I can't believe this guy is in Nooch's kitchen this much. Well, Solo... Hats off, dude. You are crushing it right now. This is like Nooch is playing Balloran or something. Or Buddha. Just can't can't match up against him. Well, we got a different player. Thanks, DRC, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. 10 a.m., baby. That's uh not that far off. Maybe like 16 hours. Okay, Matt Ewok has already made a mistake. We're going to get all this stuff up. Uh, I guess he's quitting. That was weird. I'm not sure why you would, why you would quit in an event like that. Hmm. Weird. Well, we found somebody whose decision making is worse than Nooch's. Finally, I think I think Solo was so much up in our stuff, and Nooch is so bent out of shape, but he just. Nooch was not saving any energy and was going in behind every single time. And that's just a no-no. You need to save up to the maximum amount of energy so that you can respond and not react. You know, that's one of Nooch's tips and his, you know, 10 tips for winning. 
is be a responder, not a reactor. And Nooch has been reacting to Solo, and that's what's been going on pretty handily um, and pretty heavily. So we should be good to go here. Let's get this on, get a stun. That's going to do that. So there we go. I think Nooch is really, since Solo's got me wound up so much, the super and the missed charge bomb. Let's go look. I'm going to go look, Trending Brick. Did I, did Nooch drop a seismic charge that didn't do anything? Let's get our stuff here and then we'll go look. Four Ewok gliders, that's nice. I'm going to watch it again, Trending Brick. Let's go back to this while we're at it. Okay. So the bow droid didn't do anything on the right side. Hey, uh, James Newt played Force Arena really briefly, but didn't enjoy it. Just didn't really enjoy the left to rightness of it, and the graphics were kind of stilted a little bit. And it just was it seemed like it was trying to be too realistic. And Nooch really likes the Lego version. Okay, let's look here. So we're down in energy. Yeah, the bow, bow droid was not needed. The bow droid was not needed over there. So let's remember that next time we play solo, because apparently we're going to play him again. So just the drop ship with BB-9 was all we needed to get that. Then we could build our tower and still have that three energy from the bow droid. You're right. Good call. Thank you. Thanks, Trending. Uh, yeah, that's a good call. I didn't see the seismic charge, but I, I, I think you're absolutely right with that, B, that battle, super battle droid, or B2, we call him, was definitely not needed there. So, yeah. Are we still streaming? Because Nooch is seeing it live. We're, I'm used to seeing like a 15-second delay, but right now it shows live. So if it stops streaming, let Nooch know. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Solo. Glasses off. We're going in. Let's see if he changed anything up. He did. He changed it up. There we go. Fine. Two can play at that. Now we're going to wait. We're going to save energy. We're going to make sure we're in good shape to fend off an attack because we just for some reason he's got us so wound up that we just keep loading stuff. We just keep loading stuff up. Now, he dropped the Guavian over there. That's kind of nice because we can really ignore it. We might let it engage the X-Wing and then we'll drop in Porgs behind it. So we'll do that. And let's, uh, let's get our second tower up. Okay, there we go. We can handle all this. You Booma, I Seismic. You say Potato. Are we doing it again? We're doing it again. Nooch is just dropping, just spamming units again like an idiot. I don't know why this guy is in my head. You gotta be kidding me with that. This is embarrassing. Absolutely stunningly embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed, guys. I gotta... I'm gonna get some more water. I'll be right back. Because apparently we're live now on the stream. Don't know what changed. We'll be right back. Ugh.
Okay. Refresh. Yeah, I put all those big units in there. Well, the good thing is Sol's almost done with this. The bad thing is I'd like to get in there and just beat him. Okay. Let's go back with a typical deck. That's a pretty typical deck right there. Just, just the towers. Although Nooch likes to use these epic units, he's got the battle droids. I'm going to stay with the Tauntaun. I don't want that IG-88 in there. He's been using Chewy. Let's get this Cycle guy in there. Do we have the... We got the Porg in there. There's not a lot of meat there, is there? Like, what are we going to kill his stuff with, with this deck? Well, that's 2.9, but it feels like... He's got the he's got Chewy though. All right, let's go. Newt just needs to calm down against this guy and stop making stupid decisions. If we're gonna be honest about it, not sure why. Uh, not sure why that's happening. Well, I got a new title for this uh, for this live stream. It's Solo Pones Newt. Here we go. We beat him the first game. There's Gaktor. It's good. We got somebody different. But um, we beat him the first game. And not sure what changed after that. It was just for some reason, Nooch really could not function. Okay. There's IG-88. Let's get him out of there. So now we're, we're down a little bit, but that's all right. These are Porgs and the Ewok and the Tower. We'll take out that Adat very easily. Then he's going to deal with them. Okay. Yeah, I, I just could not calm down. All right, we're going to launch a Tauntaun against the TIE Fighter. I don't really want that battle droid to get a shot off on my uh, tower there. Because he will do a lot of damage. Okay, Ewoks over there. Threaten the tower again. Has anybody seen a BB unit out of this guy? Has Nooch missed it? Heal up. We're whittling away on that tower. And he did not does not appear to have brought uh, his C2 in. All right, let's save up a little bit here. And go. Ah, oh, stun Boba Fett. That was nice. A little bit more will do it. We don't want to get cocky, though, because we could lose this easily. All right, good. That was better. Yeah, I mean, Buddha, I know. I know. It was just plain stupid. 
just against Solo for some reason, he got in Nooch's kitchen and Nooch could not let it go and just could not figure out. I don't think I've ever been this frustrated at this game before. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. Nooch was trying to counter every single card that he laid down. Solo, that is. And then he'd just drop a seismic charge of Boomer Balls on it every time Nooch laid something down. So, he was playing really well. And here we go. Okay. Let's take it easy. Figure out what he's going to do. He's going for it again. Okay. Do that. He still got it up. Interesting. We're going to let Darth Vader eat for a little bit. Yeah, here we are again. Every... I'm, I'm swearing I'm about to cuss on this live stream. And that is not what Nooch does. Get rid of him, please, before he gets a shot at us. Thank you. Good night. Not paying attention to Vader. Didn't get the special off. Wow. Should have got that special off. We would have had his tower down to, like, dangerous levels. Okay. Slow down. He's going to build a tower, though. Lost again, guys. I'm not sure how it is that every card Nooch plays, he counters perfectly. I'm really not sure what's happening at this time. Really, really not. Because everything Nooch plays, this guy counters like he's freaking Jesus. I swear I've never had this much trouble with somebody. Wish you'd really, I really wish you'd stop saying well played too. I really do. I really don't think I've got the wrong deck, and I think I'm just not, not responding well to what this guy does. Nooch is on, on track to give this guy all 10 of his wins. Okay. Just take it easy. Clearly, something was done last time by that B2 because those guys just got completely wiped out. And we have, see, have to spend all of that just to counter the one durian. I'm spending everything I have to counter one durian, and I still didn't counter him. Nooch is on tilt.
Maybe I should drop that in closer. Well, maybe you're just freaking out a little too much because this isn't looking that bad right now. There we go. Solo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Solo. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm right back with Solo. Here we go. <laughs> Newt feels a little pitiful that he needs encouraging. Oh, there you go, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Trending Break. All right, Zach, I'm not sure I want to say that name out loud. What's really interesting is in Lego Legacy, you're not allowed to pick your own name. But in Lego Star Wars, there are several names that are out there that are uh, pretty dicey slash questionable. We're going to get a middle tower here. We made sure to pick the right one. Now what we want to do is we want to distract Luke right at the right moment. So he shoots his special the other way. There we go. And then we'll bring these guys on. Didn't get Vader's special up, but that's all right. And let's not do anything stupid here. So watch, we're gonna we're gonna distract this flame trooper as soon as he's within range of the particle beam, so that he shoots this way, and we we were too late. <laughs> we just all talk and no. That's right, we're still up one nothing. Isn't that probe droid going to town on the Ewoks? I think this is the most frustrating event Nooch has played in. Oh, that was a mistake. That wasn't very good at all. That tower's going to go, and then we got a, a uh, rush going on the right side he's going to have to deal with. And we're going to save up and see if we can get a forward tower. If we don't, we'll get the middle tower. That's a... Oh, wow. And I guess he prevents me from getting the tower. We'll just get the middle... Oh, wrong tower. we got to change the order of those. Okay. Uh, not gonna say well played because that's annoying. <laughs> Beating somebody when you're crushing them. Not saying they crushed them, but you know, if if you play a tight game and beat somebody, well played is is fine. 
just continually crushing someone over and over and over again and saying well played is yeah kind of gets them even more in their kitchen yoda yeah the holocron event you're going to get two legendaries at the end the last two holocrons are going to be legendaries What I'd really like to have happen is play solo the last three games and, and finish it on solo. If we're being honest. So what have we got going on? We got voting. We got the new Y wing <laughs> right up here. Got kind of used to where we're pointing. Right up here. Um, been taking a beating from Solo. For some reason, he really got into our heads. We have five losses, right? And I think they're all against Solo, and we've beaten them twice. So if we can get the last three here, and they're all against Solo, and we can beat them three times, and we'd be five and five, and feel a little bit better about it. James uh, Nooch cannot wait for, is it tomorrow? Tomorrow we get it, right? Cannot wait. Mando is the best thing to happen for Star Wars since Return of the Jedi. I, You know, with the sequels, Nooch gained a real appreciation for the prequels, but prior to that, really did not enjoy the prequels as much. Um, Revenge of the Sith is good, but there's still just so much clunky dialogue in it, but Mando is a great Great show. So hopefully this second season is just as good. And hopefully it spawns like a Star Wars, like television dynasty. That's the way to do it. You know, put Favreau and um, uh, Filoni in charge of the whole thing and let them run it and let them do great things. And instead of, instead of letting people like Ryan Johnson come in and, you know, try and destroy the franchise on purpose for some reason. How are we doing on charge? We're fine. <clears throat> well, we're either waiting for Solo to fight somebody else, or we're waiting for somebody else, or waiting for Solo to come out and uh, play again. Solo! <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Booty, you're right. Yeah. That's a good point, too. Not sure if... I just, just wasn't thinking clearly. After the... After we had those three ties, we kept playing them. So, Nooch beat Solo the first game. Then we tied three or four times. And I think it just got into Nooch's head a little bit and then we started trying stuff and then just started losing to the guy and then then it was out of control the unraveling of a human being featuring Nooch well we might be getting a bot here in a minute you know Nooch's wife was uh, wondering if he was coming up so, <laughs> so we're hoping we can get this over with Ugh, this is the longest event ever, and the poorest played by Nooch. Two and five against Solo. Two, five, and four. So two, five, and three, or two, five, and four against one guy. So we played, we played at least ten matches against the same player. At least ten, maybe eleven. Gone through two and a half cups of water. Screamed Solo about... Reconnection successful. Okay, sorry, we disconnected there for a second. We got back in. And that is the same spinning. Yes, we Nooch has not touched it. It's just continuing to spin. Jester, what's up, man? You gonna play uh you gonna play Lego Star Wars when it comes out?
Well, this is a long spin. This is like a bot at the end kind of spin. And Nooch doesn't want to restart it and have to spin it all over again. Here we go. Sergeant Sean. Don't know if that's a bot or not, but we'll uh, take it seriously. All right. Not a fan of putting up a uh, that tower in the middle. That's just going to get wasted. That was a waste of four energy right there. I mean, yeah, kind of a big fan of it, actually. Let's get rid of this guy. And let's see if we can do a Tauntaun and Boom Balls on the other side. Let's save up to ten, though. Make sure we can counter anything. Uh, now Boba Fett coming in. That, the add at against the particle beam, people continue to do that. Or bots in this case, maybe, not really sure. Old Luke taking out the Tusken Raiders, stunning the TIE Fighter, everybody goes in for damage. This feels like it was a bot. All right, let's just save up here a little bit. We could probably drop a Tauntaun and finish this guy off at some point soon here. I do feel like this is a bot because they're not very good at using the uh, special abilities for the uh, legendary characters. They just kind of sit on it. Here we go. Yeah, James, you know, those daily 3PO challenges at the very beginning of the game, they last for maybe a week, and then they're gone forever. Those are kind of fun. It'd be really nice to have those uh, 3PO challenges in there. They kind of get replaced with the planetary rewards, but they'd be nice to have some other stuff thrown in there that you could keep doing, keep interacting with 3PO on a daily basis. Nooch agrees with that. It was fine, Jester. I mean, there we go. Okay, it's solo. We got to focus. <laughs> Is he going to go for the middle again? Probably. That's what we wanted. We want those troopers to drop down first. Like that. Okay, let's play our defense. We're going to try and keep him from getting the middle tower. So we're a little behind. He's probably got... Yeah, there he goes. He's going to try to grab the middle tower. Let's try and keep him from doing that. Boy, he is all about those boomers. Fine. There we go. That was nice. But Chewie's going to come in and wipe out those droids. Okay, take our time, take our time. For some reason, Nooch just keeps freaking out against Solo and would have played like three cards there earlier for, for whatever reason. So we're just going to relax. So there's no gaining a middle tower at this point. Pay attention, Nooch. You got 10 energy. He only went for it. <whistles> that was too close for comfort. I 
The real question is, should we try to get a middle tower? He's going to grab it again. No, he's not. Speechless. Good luck. I guess he's done. That's just embarrassing. I'm going to have to go back and watch this entire video again to see what the heck Nooch is doing wrong. Actually, only had four losses, I guess. Hey, James. So, uh, Lego Legacy is it's it's a collection kind of grindy game where you're playing uh, you're playing going a few times a day you spend energy to play different events different different parts of the game you compete with your team against um, computer placed teams but you're just you're putting together like a collection of Lego if you're if, if you ever tried Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or it's it's a gotcha game that might be a way to put it if you if you tried any gotcha games it's the same type of thing Marvel Strike Force it's that type of game but with Lego um, Lego minifigures. And neutrally enjoys that type of game, so kind of took it up after letting Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes go. Played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for a long time, and um, really that game got to where to be at the top of the game you had to spend, you were going to have to spend so much money and keep spending. Keep They just keep dropping stuff because they there are people that will continue to pay for it. It's, it's just really popular with Star Wars, and so it just got to the point where, I, I don't know if stale is the right word, but Newt just really didn't want to keep banging his head into the wall for that game so when he found lego legacy and was introduced to it by Bictini, and nooch decided to drop star wars galaxy heroes for like the third or fourth time finally let it go and pick up lego legacy from there so it's a it's a good start of a game they've got some work to do to bring it up to where it's really competitive and, and a little more fun because you're farming teams right now but there's not a lot to do with those teams but hopefully they can release some some game modes here in the near future that'll help us you know, enjoy it more and, and uh, yeah, make it a, a more fun game. So, but it's a really nice start to with a, to a game with a lot of potential for Lego Legacy. So if you want to pick it up, get in there. You've just got plenty of videos on it. You can go back and look at day one, day two, um, farming ideas and everything that just put out there. Here we are again spinning. Just nobody's playing this event right now. This was, Nooch picked a very poor time to come live. Not only because of the solo thing, just there's just nobody playing. There were probably four or five total people playing this event at the same time Nooch was playing, which we really need the global launch in order to fix that and make that better. So we got a player. Could still be solo, I don't know. Stitch. Of Lilo fame. Um, put the missile launcher on the wrong side, but that's all right. Yeah, really not sure. It would just seem constant that James is four or five energy up on Nooch at all times. Kind of want to get that middle tower because he's got those big... I can't even remember what those things are called. I haven't used them in so long. You leave those Ewoks down poorly timed because then they get wiped by the battle droids. Jester, we're thinking November at some point. Uh, Nooch is really hoping for Monday, if we're being honest. Maybe to be part of Mando Mondays this Monday, but we'll see. Yeah, 
He's going to keep going back to those tur turbo lasers. That's what they are. We're probably a full five energy ahead at this point, so we'll wait a little bit. We'll drop Vader back here kind of deep. And let's see what he does. He drops Luke. So let's do this. Interesting. All right, we need one more, one more to get through this. Good game. One more to get through the longest and worst played event ever. Jester, they need to bring out, they need to bring out uh, more content. They've got to bring out that raid. I know they said it's going to be delayed, but that's the one thing that'll let everybody use their entire roster. Because right now you got this roster you're building up, and nothing to really use it for. I mean, you, know, you got the events and challenges, but there's no. There's no end game goal in sight right now for Lego Legacy. But Nooch is hoping that uh, Lego Star Wars Battles comes out. Nooch's real hope is we get a, we get a Mando Monday drop of Lego Star Wars Battles. It's, it seems like that's hoping against hope, but um, we're definitely going to start putting together some more content for Lego Star Wars Battles for you guys. Now that we are we are definitely getting closer to global, just from the messages we've gotten from the the help desk and. Just from what you can see, the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special is coming out this month. So we're definitely closer to global. Believe it'll be November. Nucha's hopes that that's, it's at the beginning of November. We're already two or three weeks overdue for a regular timed upgrade or update. So maybe that update will come now on Monday. Excuse me. With, uh, yeah, with, uh, with the next Mando Monday. And yes, cannot wait for Mando tomorrow. I, that's are we all just sitting there waiting for Disney Plus? <laughs> Going to stay up? What what time? Does anybody know what time um, Mando Monday comes out tomorrow? What time or no, what time the Mandalorian comes out tomorrow? When they're releasing it on Disney Plus, because Nooch will be all over that as soon as it comes out. And we need to get into some planetary play against Solo and wreck the living snot out of that guy. Something. I need to watch all these back. Really, this is this will be a good learning opportunity for Nooch to really learn what was happening. Maybe get some new strategies from Solo because he certainly had a, a leg up on Nooch uh, all the way through this event. Thanks, James. I appreciate that. Uh, it'll be tough if, if, <laughs> if Nooch performs like this in these events too often. This is really... Uh, I think the worst we had before was was four losses at any point with one refresh, um, but yeah, that that is kind of the goal. The you know Nooch saw that Lego Star Wars Battles was out there, and as soon as he learned it was there, you know uh, Nooch played Clash Royale for years, and also played Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. So Nooch loves Star Wars, and Nooch loves the player versus player, you know, content that we've got here with Lego Star Wars Battles. So back in June, Nooch started playing and immediately started a channel. And has learned a lot, you know, it's been not quite five months, but almost five months of making videos here. And if you look back at the very first videos that Nooch published, I think it was the um, initial gameplay, you know, initial day one opening and gameplay. And um, what was, some, we had a Porgs video at the very beginning. If you look at the quality of those videos versus what we're putting together now, we've really learned a lot as far as using... Um, using the software, streaming, you know, streaming just started doing about a month ago. Really have, have learned a lot to put together the graphics differently. You know, we just launched this this new, uh, the new red outline for Discord Nooch is just released today. And boy, it looks so much nicer. Before it was outlined, it was like a blue with a yellow outline and it just didn't, didn't pop. It was hard to read. This one, you can really clearly read Discord, you know, on right down here below on Nooch's on Nooch's page. So hopefully we'll get more Discord action from, from this being easier to read. But you know Nooch has learned a lot about graphics, about putting thumbnails together, about sound, 
Still working on the lighting. Don't quite have the lighting down yet, especially for the green screen. So there's still some things to learn, but just over this five month period, it's been really exciting to be making videos, playing this game and really learning to love it, love it as it is and, and getting ready for it to launch so everybody can be playing and we can look for all the downloads and all the action all the time so we can avoid having these spinning times where the, the stud just spins and spins and spins. So yeah, that is the goal, James. So tell your friends, bring them on board, get them the game and hopefully this is uh, going to finish off our event here. Uh, a very rough event. Thanks for hanging in there. But neutral, definitely watch it back so we can try and learn and get better from, from these losses. That's what you do with a loss. When you play poorly, watch it back. You've got that opportunity with the uh, with the replays to watch it back and get better at the game. And not sure what Chuckles is doing here. Um, Azale looks like he loaded up the event and then walked away. We don't want to do any more there. So he's going to take out that tower, but that cost him a lot. We'll put up another one. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. So right now we just got him spending on taking out our towers that are deep. And we missed that IG-88. That's bad. Well, Nooch got cocky again, so we're going to have to restart here. You know, there is a very real strategy in this game to sitting back and letting your opponent spend a bunch of energy because they think you're not there, which is what happened. Nooch built two towers because he thought Azale was not there. And... When you pull that off, uh, you have you can give yourself a serious advantage over your opponent. And he forgot to do it. He got the special in. I want to get that middle tower again. So yeah, if, you're, if your opponent builds two towers because they think you're not there, they just spent up a bunch of energy and then you pop out of nowhere and you're playing... It automatically gives you an advantage over them, and it's a, it you know, it, <clears throat> excuse me. In the beta, you know, we we do. There are times when when players actually play to lose, where you just launch the game and then you don't let you then you don't play. Um, and so it it is a really nasty strategy for someone to act like they're not going to play. I'm not saying Azale did anything nasty, but if you're playing the game and you're acting like you're not going to play, and then you pop up out of nowhere. And wreck your opponent because they they were you know putting units down like you weren't playing. Um, that's a really uh, well, it's almost cheating. So, but that's not I'm not saying what Azale did. It just it kind of just happened there. So, anyway, that's going to be it. Let's see what legendary we get in this final this final one here. Jester, we're not doing Lego Legacy right now, buddy. Um, let's see, we got Luke. Very nice. We got three out of ten shards to get Luke to, or cards to get Luke to eleven. That would be really nice. It'll probably cost about forty grand in coin. <laughs> and there we go. We finished the event, albeit painfully. Everybody, get out there, have fun, enjoy yourself, and always remember, Nuke's too good.